Hey there, we're going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of BISAL 360 features. In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of EDI. In the EDI capability of BISAL 360, we can access the EDI status reports to query the different reports available in BISTALK, and we can also visualize the parties and their configuration. So let's take a look at the EDI status reports first. So we can query all the EDI status reports available in BizTalk. As with all querying capabilities in BizTalk 360, we can query these data sources and also filter based on available fields. In the result set, we can look at the information in multiple columns or we might want to go and open an additional information screen where we have the general settings, the interchange acknowledgement settings, and all the functional acknowledgements associated with this query. If we click on one of the results, it opens a related report, in this case with the transaction set details. If we execute, we can see the result. And in a similar way, we can query all the other available EDI status reports. As part of the normal querying capability in BISTAL 360, we can also open, save, copy and delete any of the queries for later usage. We also allow you to look into parties, business profiles and agreements within BISTAL 360. Similarly to the Administration Console, we can look at all the parties and related business profiles. If we want to see the information about any of these entities, we can click on the Details page and it will show us all the available properties for this particular entity. In this case, this is a party, so we can see all the send ports and certificates associated with it. We can also go and see the profile details by clicking on the properties and it also opens a similar page where we can see the profile specific properties. If you have any protocol settings, you will also have the available tabs where you can see the inbound settings and outbound settings and all the other information available in that profile. And of course, we also support you to visualize agreements. You can do that by clicking on the agreement. This will open the agreement page where we can see the generic properties and we can also see the properties related to message exchange between one of the parties and the other. We also allow you to visualize the fallback settings for X12 and Edifact. If we click on these, we can see the, all the options available for the fallback settings. And we also include the search capability for your parties and business profiles. So if I type a partial of the name, it will filter me the result set. This is particularly useful when you have a lot of parties and business profiles. The idea of EDI within BISTAL 360 is to have the capability of seeing how is the system set up, so how are my parties, profiles and agreements configured, as well as looking at the status reports that tell me how are EDI messages being exchanged and all the relevant information for your operations analysis. And this is all for EDI.